Oh, I sat down with two players who know exactly what that moment is like. They were both drafted in the first round by the Indiana Fever. They tell me their experience and, of course, how they plan to welcome Miss Caitlin Clark. Because when I was little, I mean, I saw it, but I never really thought that it could be me. It was always like the dream for me, but it seemed really far off and um, unrealistic for me to ever achieve. A vision that scored beyond their wildest dreams. With the sixth pick in the 2022 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Lexi Hull, Stanford University. And then I hear Stanford guard Lexi Hull, and it was honestly like the coolest moment. In 2022, the Indiana Fever drafted Lexi Hull in the first round, sixth overall pick. A year later in 2023, with the seventh pick in the 2023 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Grace Berger from Indiana University. Grace Berger was drafted in the first round seventh overall pick. You don't really know going into the night where you're going to get drafted. I was super nervous. Now, getting drafted in the WNBA is one of the hardest tasks in professional U.S. sports. The WNBA has a maximum of 144 roster spots available across all teams, while the NBA can have a maximum of 541 potential roster spots. The WNBA is great. Um, I'm living my dream right now. Both Lexi and Grace know firsthand the pressure that comes with rookie year debuts. I would say be a sponge. I think it's super important. There's incredible players that were also number one draft picks, the best player on their college team, and there's so much knowledge on every team in the WNBA. Knowledge that the Fever has been able to capitalize on, now two years in a row. With the first pick in the 2023 WNBA draft. The Fever held the first overall draft pick, selecting South Carolina star Aaliyah Boston, three-time All-American. I think it was just really interesting to see how much she had on her shoulders being the number one pick. I realized from the first game, even from entering training camp with her, um, the amount of pressure that was on her, but she handled it with such grace. And this year, the stakes are high yet again with the Fever drafting Caitlin Clark as their first overall pick. I'm so excited that we get the number one pick again. Now they'll have someone that um, so recently handled it so well, obviously became an all-star in her rookie year. A roster making the Indiana Fever one of the most talked about teams in the league. But we're just ready to get to work, ready to get playing and excited for the draft and then excited for our first game. I'd say hop on the bandwagon now because it's going to be an exciting and exciting couple years to be a Fever fan.